Bring it on. Imagine you could have control of your path of your golf club all the way back and all the way through without even thinking about it. And you can have that control within one second. <laughs> this is a one second drill. That's right, a one second drill. Sam Sneed came up with this idea. It's unbelievable for altering your path. Not so much altering your path, but ensuring your path is exactly where it needs to be. But within one second, it can actually be done within one second. So I have a book here, it's Brandel Chambly's The Anatomy of Greatness. The Anatomy of Greatness. And on page 79, Sam Sneed. Sam Sneed here talks about the initial move away from the ball. Sam Sneed, with no sign of setting his wrists in his initial move off the ball, indeed there's a hint of him leaving the club head behind. So on the takeaway he leaves the club head behind. If this is done properly, as so many of the greats did, <laughs> There is no need to ever have to think of the path of the club at any point on the backswing or the downswing. There is no need to think of the path of the club at any point on the backswing or the downswing. Oh my God. Imagine having a golf swing where you have a one second drill where you do something that you don't even have to worry about the path of the golf club. <laughs> so it only takes one second. I address the ball got seven iron in hand, take my address position. As the club goes back, as Sam Sneed takes the club going back, backwards, he leaves the club head where it is. So therefore the hands go first, I'm going to exaggerate this, the hands go first and I don't have to worry about path. Okay? Now, wow, this is an actual thing. The hands go first, so I don't have to worry about path. Now I'm leaving the club head there. This will encourage lag, it will encourage, obviously it helps path. But if I do this motion here, then from there, there's lag is going to appear. It's going to happen, and I'm going to drop the club into the slot. I'm going to go here, and then from there, because the hands have led the shot, there's going to be an element of me dropping the club into a slot of some description. So he's absolutely right, there's no need to worry about path or even think about the path because it's preset already. Now it takes one second. And when I say one second, are you ready? There. One. 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 And then let it happen. The feeling is exactly that. I don't feel as though I take the hands first. I feel as though I leave the club head there. So I let myself up. Take my address position for a normal 7-iron. I'm just going to leave the club head there. It'll just be a fraction. you possibly be able to see it. Strike was a little bit clean. Again, leaving the club head there. I'll move the camera to down the line, which is probably the best position to see the club head path. There, just leaving the club head. Good again. So down the line. Here, I don't have to think about the path of the club going back. I don't have to think about what path the club is coming on the way down. I just have to ensure that the club head is left on the ground to make sure I fall into that slot. That's pretty good that, isn't it? <laughs> There's no thought going into path. It's one second. It's not even one second. It's just leaving the club there. As I say, I mean, Colin Montgomery is a good example. Monty. Monte exaggerated slightly here, but Monte is very much that motion of the hands going first. So that action, he's very much hands going first, as opposed to leaving club head there. Hands first, try that motion. So that's a lot more, what's the word? That's a lot more exaggerated, that's not for me, I like to leave the club head there. So last ball to control path, let's get a good one here. So just going to leave the club head there, it's just a fraction, one second, leaving the club head there, then letting everything work from there. Best strike yet, I want to hit another one, hold on. Just quickly going back over the book again, if this is done properly, as so many of the greats did, there is no need to ever think of the path of the club at any point of the backswing or the downswing. He says there, leaving the club head behind. So he's not influenced by the hands going first like Monty, I would imagine. He is leaving the club head there. 
So club head being left on the ground, so take away, just leaving the club head there. And then of course, naturally it has to go. It has to go somehow. And there, leave that club head for a fraction of a second, one second drill, leave the club head. And there was no thought about path at all, it's brilliant. <laughs> So there you go, a one second drill that took me about six or seven minutes to explain but it's good to go over it, I know people will comment that saying why did it take you so long to do a one second drill, well there you go, that's why So if you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel, also hit the bell notification which gives you instant notifications of all my videos and of course the thumbs up button, cheers around YouTube, does us all a favour that See you in my next video